subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. The Atlantic Basin is waking up once again with now potential Tropical Cyclone 6 east of the Lester Antilles tonight. This is expected to become a tropical storm within the next 12 hours and impact islands such as Martinique, Dominica, Dominica and Guadeloupe. Currently, we have it with winds of 35 miles per hour, with a pressure of 1,009 millibars. This is moving west-northwest at 15 miles per hour, or around 24 kilometers per hour, and is a mid-range stage 1 on the CDPS. That being low for wind speed, low for storm size, low for rainfall potential, and low for the overall threat. A CDPS stage 1 means that minor impacts are possible um, this time for the Lesser Antilles, um, generally looking towards Martinique, Dominica, and Guadeloupe for those impacts. The current wind fields are not really existing right now since it's not tropical storm force, although that is expected to change over the next few days, um, within the next 12 hours actually. The current distances with uh, miles and kilometers, it is currently 111 miles or 179 kilometers from Martinique, 144 miles or 232 kilometers from Dominica, 186 miles or 300 kilometers from Guadeloupe, 520 miles or 837 kilometers from San Juan, Puerto Rico, and 749 miles or 1205 kilometers from Santo Domingo in Hispaniola. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen, tropical storm watches are in effect for some island nations. The current intensity estimates, um, not much to show here, only for 13 and the National Hurricane Center. We're both agreeing on 35 miles per hour. And moving on to the latest National Hurricane Center forecast cone, you can see that five-day forecast cone expected to become a tropical storm within the next 12 hours, moving through the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands, and Hispaniola, and then eventually through the southeast, southeastern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, Cuba, and then eventually perhaps even Florida could get into the mix of this system. The most likely arrival, uh, arrival time of uh, tropical storm force winds, if you're uh, preparing, do look at that for when your preparations to be complete. And key messages, do pause the video if you would like to read through those. Those are vital to read in any tropical cyclone. The sea surface temperatures right now, you can see it only gets warmer from here, in fact, the warmer, the warmest part of its track, sea surface temperature-wise, will be once it gets to the Bahamas and near Florida. But as of right now, we're looking generally 28 into 29 degrees Celsius waters uh, for the future right now. The h uh wind swath does keep it a bit lopsided. It looks like northern side mostly. It does try to make it a hurricane uh, as it approaches Florida. Heavy rainfall expected across many, many islands and even into uh, Florida, Cuba, and the Bahamas as we get into the latter part of the five-day period. The models right now looking generally consistent on this intensifying at least to a tropical storm force system. Wind shear will be on the rise. As of right now, it's pretty low. The main inhibiting factor right now is the mid-level relative humidity, which will seem to maybe get better. As we get to the latter part of the five-day period, sea surface temperatures will also be rising, but winter will be uh, increasing as well, which will further inhibit intensification of this system. Here's the current imagery. You can see it's gotten better organized today. It's got um, what looks to be perhaps maybe a lower level center forming underneath all that convection. There's the main issue right now, that dry air in the mid-levels. As it starts to get a center, it may try to wrap in some of that dry air which is going to inhibit uh, quick intensification. But if it can get a con consolidated core to protect itself against the dry air, we could perhaps see a formidable tropical storm moving through the Lesser Antilles and Greater Antilles.